Hello. I'm looking for my other Wellington boot. I know it's here somewhere, but I just can't find it. It's okay. It's not real. It's made of rubber. Fancy that, finding a crocodile in the shed. Oh, listen. It's the house. There must be a story to tell. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen with tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure, tears, fears and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. Your dust is getting everywhere. Achoo! See? It's making Mr. Mopple sneeze too. Sorry. I don't know how I'll get so dusty. Books always get dusty, Boris. But you'll soon get them clean. <laughs> we saw you with the crocodile, Mr. Mopple. <laughs> you thought it was real. Didn't you? I did. It gave me quite a fright. <laughs> it, it reminded me of a story. Now let me see. Uh, uh, it's here somewhere. <laughs> oh yes, here it is. Stand back, Mr. Mopal. Thank you, Boris. Uh, 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 <laughs> the story's called Stripe. Stripe lived with his mum and dad on the edge of a huge jungle. Never go there by yourself, said his mum. It's very dangerous. One hot afternoon, his mum and dad fell asleep. The jungle looks very cool, thought Stripe. Perhaps I'll go in there, just for a minute. Stripe trotted happily through the trees, all the time getting further and further away from home. Just then, he spotted a bee's nest high up in the tree. Honey! thought Stripe excitedly. Why did he think honey? Well, because bees make honey. Oh. But don't ever go near a bee's nest, Twinkle. The bees don't like it, and they'd give you a nasty sting. I don't think Stripe knew that. He stretched up to reach the bee's nest, and as he did, he heard a loud buzzing noise. The bees were cross and chased poor Stripe away, right out of the jungle, and into the river. Splash! Under the water, Stripe was safe from the bees. He swam up to the surface and pulled himself onto a log. The bees had all gone, but Stripe had a feeling that he was being watched. Oh, he is being watched. Look at all those 
eyes. The river was full of hungry crocodiles. Stripe paddled hard as they chased him down the river. And oh my goodness me, look at all the crocodiles swimming after him. There are loads of them. Quick, Stripe, quick. They chased him out to sea. Just as the snapping jaws were getting closer and closer, Stripe spotted a cave in the distance. It looked like a good place to hide. But the closer he got, the stranger it looked. It was not a cave at all, but a whale's mouth. It was very cold and very dark. Stripe was scared. Then he had an idea. With the tip of his tail, he tickled the top of the whale's mouth. <laughs> Achoo! The whale sneezed. Stripe flew high up into the air. And then he was falling, 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 bump! Stripe landed back home. And there were his mum and dad, just waking up. I won't go back to the jungle for a long, long time, thought Stripe. And he curled up and went to sleep. <gasps> a little tiger tickling your mouth, Chloe. I don't think so, dear. It's just the dust. Here you are, Boris. One clean book with no dust. Oh, thank you, Mr Mopple. Are you going back to your scary crocodile now, Mr Mopple? Yes, I'll put it away somewhere so it can't scare anybody else. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr, Goodbye, Mr. Mopple. Mr. Mopple. Thank you for reading the story. I did put it on the table, didn't I? It's back in the corner. How did it get there? Well, I'm going home and perhaps it will have gone in the morning. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.